So I'm gonna show you a few things that you can check to make sure uh, that your grades and everything are set up and syncing the way that you need them to. Uh, so the first of those is to check to make sure that all of your assignments are syncing the way they're supposed to be. So the easiest way to do that is if I open up a course and I go to assignments, um, you'll notice I have some categories listed here. Now the ones again with this little symbol right here are the ones that are talking to PowerSchool. So anything that is not in one of these categories with that symbol means those things are not talking to PowerSchool. So none of these assignments right now are going to PowerSchool, which is fine. You just need to make sure you're aware that these assignments aren't. The other thing I can do here is I need to double check and make sure that this little checkbox right here is checked uh, and it has, has a green check mark next to it. If it is not checked, then it's actually gonna have a black check or a little black X on it. That means that assignment is not syncing or syncing is disabled uh, with PowerSchool. So I need to make sure that all of the assignments that I want to go to PowerSchool are all syncing and are all uh, set to work correctly. Now, if I have other categories here that I don't need, so if I have extra ones in here, um, I can rearrange things. So maybe I want this assignments category all the way down at the bottom because I'm not even using this one anymore. Um, I can click and drag to rearrange. I can move these higher or lower in that list, move them all the way to the top if I want to, just to make it a little bit easier to see. And I can even get rid of any category that I don't want by simply telling it to delete. I just wanna make sure I don't delete anything that has assignments in it that I still need to keep. So you can definitely do some housekeeping to kind of clean some of this up a little bit. Some teachers like to keep kind of a, um, a hopper of unpublished assignments. Totally fine, not a problem with that whatsoever. The only thing just to point out is anytime you make an assignment and you go to put it in a category, uh, whatever categories that you have listed are gonna be the assignment groups that show up in here, and they'll show up in that exact same order. So whatever order you put them in is what order they're gonna be here, and you'll notice you don't get the little symbol in this menu to just make sure it is in one of the categories that's syncing directly to PowerSchool uh, when you add that. Now, as long as I have both of those things done, one last thing I can check in my assignments menu here, uh, is that if I click on these three dots at the top, if I do any kind of assignment waiting, um, I can do that based on assignment groups. So if I wanted to wait assignments based on the category they're in, number one, I have to set that up that way in PowerSchool. And number two, I actually have to set that up here as well. And I will just go ahead and enter my weight percentages uh, on those categories. And again, only the categories that are being um, synced will count. I don't need to worry about any of those others. Now, if I could do a quick check in my gradebook, uh, I'm going to make sure that all of my published assignments that I have, that all of my published assignments have grades next to them. Um, I might have some that have a little symbol that looks like this. That means that this assignment has been resubmitted. So this student received a grade on this assignment. They got a score, but this button right here means that that uh, assignment was resubmitted. So what I need to do is I need to click on that little arrow next to it and open up the speed grader and it'll take me to that student's assignment and then I can choose whether or not I wanted to use this same grade as the resubmission grade or I can enter in a new score for that student. Um, so anytime that student or a student submits more than one thing or has hit submit more than once um, those things are going to show up as multiple submissions. And again, you can control that by controlling how many submissions each student gets. The default is unlimited. Uh, so you may want to change those submission types until uh, a fewer number. The other thing you could do is anything that is missing, anything you don't have in here where there is no grade for, um, maybe they never submitted it, you could either enter in a score in there if you want, or if I hit my little gear, I could automatically choose uh, and apply a policy that says automatically apply a grade for missing assignments. So anytime someone does not turn in a grade, I could have it automatically give them a zero uh, for that if I wanted to. And when I apply that policy, it will apply that for all of the students in this specific class. 
Now I could also do the same thing with late submissions if I want, or I could give them uh, maybe a 10% deduction for every day that it was late or so on. Um, but that again is entirely up to you. And then once I've made those changes, I would hit update uh, to apply those in here as well. Now one other thing that's just important to point out, and that is the way that um, your gradebook is organized. So in my final grades, in my grade setup in Canvas here, you'll notice that there is a column for every single category. And this is why, again, it's kind of nice to clean up some of those category names in um, or your assignment group names in your assignment section uh, because that way you won't even have to worry about getting the columns for those if you don't want those. But Either way, um, I now have a list of all of those assignments that show up, and this is the grade that those students got in this particular category, in this category, in this category, and then again, this is the final grade uh, based on that. Um, you can also resize by clicking on the lines and shrinking up, so if you wanted to, you can even resize these columns uh, to adjust it so you can fit more in here at once. You just got to make sure that you can still be able to read the names of that uh, as you go on through. A couple other quick things you may want to point out. If I need to get to any specific assignment, I could open up that assignment just by clicking on it. Um, and that will take me to that assignment details page of which I can then edit or go to the speed grader if I need to. Um, but one other thing to point out is down here at the bottom, when you create an assignment, you have a spot that says available from and it gives you a time to start that assignment and a time to end it. These, this means when this assignment shows up in your course, you can leave this blank. This is entirely optional. You have to have a due date listed in there for it to show up in PowerSchool, but you do not have to have an available from uh, or until date in here. And in fact, if you do put a, uh, an available until date, if a student wants to submit something after that date, it will not let them. It'll tell them it's been locked. So if you want kids not to see this assignment till a certain date, you could maybe just give it an available from, which would control when it would show up um, in their Canvas for students. But I would recommend not putting an until date if you wanted to be able to have students submit things late. And then finally, the last thing just to point out is that your gradebook has nothing in here for behavior and effort. There is no way to do behavior and effort in Canvas, so you do still need to do those behavior and effort grades into PowerSchool the way you did before. Now, once I've entered grades, it will sync automatically overnight, assuming I have gone into that course name and I've gone down here to what's called Grade Sync, which if you don't have that option, it's under your settings, under navigation. And in Grade Sync, you have to make sure that under Sync, this box is checked and hit save. You need to do that for every course. If you don't, it won't sync your grades automatically to PowerSchool. Now, it does that every night whenever you have that box checked. If you don't wanna wait, maybe I entered a bunch of grades right now, or maybe entered a bunch of grades right before they're due, and I need those grades to come over now as opposed to waiting um, till that overnight process takes place. I can do that in my gradebook also just by clicking on the actions button and telling it to sync to Pattonville. That will take the current grades that I have right now and it sends those grades right to PowerSchool. Uh, it takes probably about five to 10 minutes, maybe a little longer towards the end of a grading period when PowerSchool is a little busy. Um, but other than that, um, those are some tips and tricks that you can do to make sure that your grades are showing up the way you want them to be um, in Canvas and in PowerSchool.